Why am I afraid? I can't stay in this house alone. I am afraid. Why am I being fearful? It feels like I'm seeing someone or something strange. I can't just place it. Let me go into the bedroom. <coughs> Who is in the room? Who is in the house? Is something in the house? I am scared. I can't stay alone. I can't stay here. Someone help me. So, can someone give me answer to that question? I need someone to answer. I know the answer to this question. I think I can answer it. <coughs> no, Alex. You can't answer the question. What if you fail the question, you will be ashamed of yourself. You can't answer the question. Don't even try to. Oh, I can't answer it. I will be so disappointed in myself if I fail it. Let me just remain seated. Alex. Do you want to give me an answer? No ma'am. I don't know the answer. Alex. Why are you being scared and fearful? You could have easily answered that question and got the bonus mark from your teacher. You are just being scared for nothing. And what you refused to say out was the right answer. Alex. You did the right thing. You shouldn't regret it all. You need to learn to save yourself from embarrassment. I could have just speak out. This fear is getting the best of me. I am tired. Today is my project defense day. I'm scared. I pray I pass this exam and project defense. Lord, please pity me. Alex. How do you want to confront the judges? How will you speak up in front of those people? Don't you know that those people are highly intellectual? There is nothing you want to say that will impress them. You can't pass this exam in defense. Just take your mind off it. I know I can't do it. I can't do it. I am scared to even face the judges. I am not as intellectual as them. I am not even the best in class and I don't have the confidence. There is no miracle that can happen. What will I even say? Where will I start from? I have failed this already. Why are you trying to embarrass yourself? You can't do it. You are in front of so many people. You can't face them. Just accept failure. I am sorry, I can't do this. I have forgotten what I wanted to say. Come on. You can do it. Face your fears. You will do it. I am sorry, I can't. I have failed again. Ah, what have I done to myself? I have wasted all my years in school just because of fear. Ah! Young lady. You need to face your fears. Deal with your fears. Face it today and rebuke it. I have pleaded with other judges to give you few days to get prepared for your presentation. Thank you so much, sir. God bless you, sir. I'll do as you've said. Hello, welcome back here from my life's short story. This is me. Alex. I was a victim of fear and low self-esteem. I had problems staying alone in a place. I couldn't face crowd or people to express myself. I used to doubt myself. I became hopeless. I didn't even believe in miracles at some point. I was a faithless Christian. I have overcome fear, I am free now. And I've discovered that so many people are living under fear. They are still unable to face their fears. Now, let's talk about fear. What is fear? The word fear appears 356 times in the Amplified Bible. The word afraid appears 167 times, and the phrases do not fear, fear not, or be not afraid appears 71 times. The frequency of these phrases shows us that everyday life will present circumstances and situations which can generate fear, doubt, worry, and unbelief. The word faith appears 346 times in the Amplified Bible. Christians must choose to live by faith. 
Let's examine the differences between faith and fear. What is faith? Faith is a belief and trust in God, His Word, the Bible, and Jesus Christ. Faith in God equips and empowers us to succeed and prosper. Faith comes from God. He chooses and calls us into a relationship with Him. Faith in God is demonstrated and activated by the words we speak, words that are in agreement with God's Word. Faith in God is fueled by unconditional love, compassion, and a willingness to serve the others and put their needs before our own. Faith in God will cancel out, overcome, and conquer fear and it will always defeat Satan. Faith in God and His Word will set us free from bondage, guilt, and condemnation. Faith in God gives us courage, confidence, and expectant hope. Faith in God leads to our salvation, victory, and eternal life in heaven. So faith comes by hearing what is told, and what is heard comes by the preaching of the message that came from the lips of Christ the Messiah himself, Romans 10 17. Middle dot. Now faith is the assurance, the confirmation, the title deed of the things we hope for, being the proof of things we do not see and the conviction of their reality. Faith perceiving as real fact what is not revealed to the senses. Hebrews 11, 1. Fear is a doubt and unbelief in God and in his word. Belief in the lies of Satan. A state of dread, uneasiness, worry or anxiousness. Fear is faith and reverse or faith contaminated. Fear is when we believe our circumstances are bigger than God. Fear equips and empowers us to fail. It paralyzes us and causes us to make poor decisions and choices. Fear works like a magnet and attracts or draws the very things we fear the most. Fear comes from Satan. It is a demonic spirit, not an emotion or feeling. Fear is demonstrated and activated by the words we speak, words that are in agreement with Satan's lies and that ultimately lead to spiritual and physical destruction, even death. Fear is fueled by our negative emotions, selfishness, anger, hurt, despair, greed, envy, jealousy, and insecurity. Fear is overcome by faith in God, His Word, and walking in integrity and faithfulness to the Word of God. Fear keeps you in bondage to sin, addiction, strongholds, and generational curses. Fear produces despair and hopelessness. Constant prolonged fear leads to spiritual and physical death, destruction, and eternal torment in hell. Fear tries the belief that God does not really love us and that God's promises are not true. Fear is based in selfishness and is an expression of our desire to preserve or protect self. Fear gives Satan power and opens the door for him to operate in your life. Fear destroys our confidence while faith builds it up. Fear brings worry, torment, and unrest while faith brings peace and contentment. For the thing which I greatly fear comes upon me, and that of which I am afraid befalls me. Job 3.25 For God did not give us a spirit of timidity, of cowardice, of craven and cringing and fawning fear. But he has given us a spirit of power and of love and of calm and well-balanced mind and discipline and self-control, 2 Timothy 4, 7. Now, this is how to overcome fear. Read, study, meditate on the Word of God and trust in God and His Word. Remember who you are and whose you are. Examine yourself. Learn where your fear comes from. Identify what you are afraid of. Ask the Holy Spirit to help you. Listen to His voice and be quick to obey His promptings. Encourage yourself. Be courageous and bold. Remember, the battle has already been won. Refuse to speak curses over your life. In every situation, look beyond the surface and discern the presence of spiritual warfare. Put on the whole armor of God which is the Word of God. Use God's word against Satan. Speak and say the word out loud and dash remember, thinking it is not enough. Walk in the strength and power of the Spirit of God and dash walk in love. Decide that you are going to live by faith and apply the word to your everyday life no matter what. Recite these Bible verses after me and endeavor to read them every day.
For the spirit which you have now received is not a spirit of slavery to put you once more in bondage to fear, but you have received the spirit of adoption, the spirit producing sonship in the bliss of which we cry, Abba, Father. Father? Romans 8.15 As it is written, For your sake we face death all day long. We are considered as sheep to be slaughtered. No, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. Romans 8.36-37 Nev, fear not, there is nothing to fear, for I am with you. Do not look around you in terror and be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen and harden you to difficulties, yes, I will help you. Yes, I will hold you up and retain you with my victorious right hand of rightness and justice. Acts 18.10 Isaiah 41.10 He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall remain stable and fixed under the shadow of the Almighty, whose power no foe can withstand. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God. On Him I lean and rely, and in Him I confidently trust. Psalms 91, 1-2, Amp. Yes, though I walk through the deep, sunless valley of the shadow of death, I will fear or dread no evil, for you are with me. Your rod to protect and your staff to guide, they comfort me. Psalms 23, 4. Middle dot, Elisha answered, Fear not. For those with us are more than those with them. 2 Kings 6, 16. And he said, O man greatly beloved, fear not. Peace be to you. Be strong, yes, be strong. And when he had spoken to me, I was strengthened and said, Let my Lord speak, for you have strengthened me. Daniel 10 19. Middle dot, according to the promise that I covenanted with you when you came out of Egypt, so my spirit stands and abides in the midst of you. Fear not. Haggai 2, 5. Brethren. You need to face your fears today. Confront your fears. And before I go, let me finish my story. Today is today. I must deal with this fear today. Where are you? Here I am. So, you're just a replica of me. I have been scared of my own shadows all these while. I rebuke you in Jesus' name. I refuse to be scared of you. You are not even more than this. You aren't afraid again? Yes, I am not. I face you today. He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall remain stable and fixed under the shadow of the Almighty, whose power no foe can withstand. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God. On Him I lean and rely, and in Him I confidently trust. Elisha answered, Fear not. For those with us are more than those with them. And he said, O man greatly beloved, fear not. Peace be to you. Be strong, yes, be strong. And when he had spoken to me, I was strengthened and said, Let my Lord speak, for you have strengthened me. I have a Father who is bigger than you. I command you in the name that is above every other name, that in the name of Jesus. Leave my life and never return again. I am leaving. I'll find another body to stay. This is beautiful. You have done so well. I am proud of you. I passed my exams and my project, and an automatic employment after my internship program. Thank you Jesus. Thank you Jesus. There's nothing impossible for you to do, and here I am today, in my own office. I have been able to achieve too much with my confidence and faith in God. The spirit of fear is always looking for a body to stay. Do not allow yourself to be a habitat for the spirit of fear. Take charge now. Bye.